Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Thank you for your patience. Once again, I'm late. I'm sorry, I've been trying to get my act together, but it, you know, okay? But I do have good news, because look what I found. This is the Magdalene Oracle. If you guys don't know, I moved back in October, and there are still things that are unpacked, <laughs> unknown, what's in those boxes, a little bit of that, but I found this. So let's all just take a deep breath in together. We're going to get a message going. Did I say it's for April 15th? The week of April 15th, 2024. But of course they are timeless. You can listen to them whenever you like. So let's all tune in together. Okay. I saw like a burst of sun energy. And I'm hearing enlivened enlivened <laughs> so let's see what they mean by that all right first card out here family okay so this can mean more than your you know you're born in family and remember the family you're born into from a soul contract level it's there by design whether we like it or we don't okay <laughs> it's there by design it is what we have agreed to okay so there are going to be certain lessons and things that come from that now for some of you this could be your chosen family but please keep in mind you can be your own family you know you don't have to uh sort of give in as i always say these they've become like buzz terms now but <laughs> a societal narrative right like you don't have to give in to that if you are by yourself in this world first of all you're not really because you have me, you have this community here. There are always people who love you more than you realize, okay? And you might say, well, we've never met. I know souls, right? I pick up on souls. It's my whole thing, right? So I do know you and you are loved, all right? So just remember that. You can be at home within your own skin. You can be your own family. Now, in a more surface level kind of practical way, this feels like someone's getting news, of family and it feels like an addition right? an addition so somebody might be announcing that they are pregnant or adopting it could be a little bit more scandalous than that for some of you where you realize you have siblings that you did not know or you may be someone who you didn't know you had a kid gentlemen out there I know I just probably scared everybody <laughs> gonna be all right it feels like uh for for those circumstances it's gonna be shocking obviously but it ends up being a beautiful thing illumination Oof. okay well we have that right after the family card so again there's the shocker like oh i have a kid out there um i feel like for some of you Someone out there who's in the adoption process, you think that it's not going to go through or you've just had your heart broken so many times, like it's supposed to go through and then it doesn't. Um, you're going to figure out why. The illumination isn't, the, the illumination card isn't a guarantee that you're going to get what you want, but it is, you're going to realize, you know, what this means to you maybe. It can be a very internal discovery uh, or you get some information about the process itself, but with these two cards together, there is some bit of healing and freedom from pain for some of you watching this. Remember, these are general readings. If you want a personal reading with me, angelsouls444.com, those are the standard readings. Here and there, I can do a live reading session. Those, you know, there aren't too many spots for that, but you can always email me for one of those, angelsouls444 at gmail.com, okay? But this could be... Um, realizing more about someone's backstory okay now that does not excuse any sort of bad behavior whatsoever but it's this idea of fostering an understanding where then you feel free to let go or to make amends if that's what you want so we have color in this particular moment i just got the feeling of like well, actually i saw like wizard of oz when it goes from black and white uh to color right it goes into technicolor so there could be along with this illumination card something gets brought to light and gets brought to life okay so something and i'm even here and breathing life into a situation this could have been uh i think pretty difficult let me sit with this hmm 
they're saying your circumstances may not change readily. Do you know what I mean? But I think what a lot of you are doing this week, you're coming to some sort of discovery about how, okay, I'm not going to try to change the circumstances. It's the thing we say all the time. You're going to change how you respond to it, right? But it's easy to say that, but hard to do sometimes, right? Because if you're mad, you're mad, okay? Or if you're hurt, you're hurt. And you can't just snap out of it, nor would we tell you to do that. But there's some way that you're finding to integrate, and they're using this, integrate uh, a path into your story. So learning how to deal with things, learning what you allowed yourself to take in. I hope I'm making sense here. Just um, like I want to put it like it ain't that serious, right? So if you are somebody, but again, I want to be careful with that because I don't want to diminish how someone may feel. But it might be this thing of, you know what? I have carried so much resentment about something and it was 20 years ago. It ain't that serious. You know what I mean? I got to let it go. Those kinds of things. So the next card out we have is gratitude. You know, when you stop and you say, I am so grateful for, in my case, like last night, I curled up in bed and it was just so cozy. And I was like, man, I'm so grateful. Like, I just, I'm so cozy. And <laughs> I, I'm, I'm having just a quiet, nice time right now. But I always, with my gratitude practice, right? So that's stopping, being aware. You're not trying to fake it till you make it. Don't do that. Okay. I mean, you do whatever you want, but you know, have have the real experience of gratitude. Don't just say it in your mind. But when you're having a moment, like I was saying, oh, I'm all cozy in my bed, my mind then goes to everyone who doesn't have that, who doesn't have that sense of safety. And I like to say a prayer for them and send out love and protection. Yeah, you can, you can invoke, let, let's talk about this, because a lot of times people will say, you know, can I invoke angels and archangels on behalf of someone else? Now, if you've listened to me for any amount of time or you listen to some angel mediums, they will always tell you that angels do not go against human free will. So we might be a little cautious to ask for help on behalf of someone else. Here's the deal. You can, in fact, ask the angels and archangels to help someone, but one, their soul has to agree to it. So the soul will accept it or not accept it. What you want to be careful of you don't want to say something like angels and archangels of God's purest love and light. That's how I put it. Because you know, just safeguard. We've got to cover our behinds, right? <laughs> make, make sure we're doing this in the highest frequency and we're doing well, right? Um, instead of being like angels and archangels of God's purest love and light, please make that person love me. That's interfering with human free will. Angels and archangels of God's purest love and light, please send love and protection and guidance to that person if they will accept it and it's not going against their free will. Thank you. I love you. And so it is. You can say something like that, but, um, you know, say, imposing it like, please, uh, help that person see the error of their ways. And who are you? Okay. What, what, what? You, you don't make mistakes. <laughs> you feel me? You see what I'm saying? So we want to be careful in the intention we put, we put behind anything that is a frequency. That's the energy behind it. So as long as you got that down, you're good. Just be mindful of it. Okay. Love. I like this. So here is this beautiful thing that's occurring. And that is taking the pressure off of ourselves to define love by certain standards. Yes? So how often have... Let me let me back up. I was going to say, how often have we heard, like, you got to be with son? Here's the deal. You guys know for the longest, I've not had a very good track record with staying away from abusive people, right? Uh, so I had a lot of, I have a lot of experiences around that and have been in romantic partnerships with these very dark people, okay? I'm um, getting sucked into that. And so like I I went on like my own single person journey or whatever want to see that and I had to make sure that I was there for myself so that I wasn't um I don't know if codependent is the right word. I don't I don't know. But so I wasn't so dependent on someone else's love. I can make it for myself. Not so dependent on someone else's opinion of me. I define who I'll let you know who I am, right? Like it's one of those things. Like <laughs> don't you come around to defining me. I will let you know who I am. That sort of thing. So being on that journey, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm not open to love. Of course I am, but it's gonna have to be a healthy person. No longer going to give in to just whomever, right? And I'm sorry, heterosexual ladies out there, 
whether you're aware of it or not, you will get messaging that you should just, um, like you somehow owe a man attention because he decided he likes you. Hmm? <laughs> uh, be respectful. I mean, if the person deserves respect, then be respectful. If you got to set those boundaries, set those boundaries. But of course, as always, be discerning in every situation. Sometimes people get super triggered. You know the drill, right? So safety first around all that. But what I'm getting at here, and the reason why I'm going through all this, is that the love that we experience, me being single, I have experienced and come to a place where I can love myself so much and, and love other people and, and love my surroundings and love nature and love, there are a couple of cats that run around the neighborhood. I have fallen in love with them. One of them has not been back in a minute, so... I hope she comes back. But anyway, <laughs> but feeling and experiencing love and it has been outside the bounds, right? Outside of the perimeter of what love is supposed to be, right? Does that make sense? So expand your awareness of love and expand your definition of love. So we're going to leave it there. Oh, happy birthday to my dad. Today is his birthday. I'm going to record this, edit it, get it up, and then I'm going to go see him for his birthday. So I am sending you all so much love. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.